At some point, Manchester United were going to lose in the league under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and today it's happened against Arsenal. A 2-0 defeat at the Emirates, and it feels very disappointing, I'll be honest. After the, the highs of Paris in midweek, to go and play like Manchester United played today against Arsenal was a massive disappointment. I think overall how United played, I don't feel that Arsenal were that much better but United were poor and sloppy where we needed to be clinical, especially in front of goal. Romelu Lukaku again looking good, but his finishing today was poor. Manchester United's intensity was poor out of possession. In that first 30 minutes, Arsenal were just comfortable. What we've seen under this United team, under Solskjaer, is a very intense press. Today you didn't see that at all, and it was clear that the players were a little bit fatigued, whether that's mentally or physically or both, from the PSG game. Marcus Rashford... He was off. Strikers probably played better than the rest of the team, especially Victor Lindelof, who had probably his worst performance of the season so far. But let me know what you think about the match in the comments below. But I'm disappointed with how I feel that 2-0 scoreline flatters Arsenal. Xhaka's goal, David De Gea was getting slated by Gary Neville, saying it was, he's thinking about his contract, he's doing this, he's doing that. The ball just moved. It was windy. De Gea made a mistake. It was a bad mistake, but he just made a mistake. But that goal and the manner of that goal gave Arsenal a boost that they held on to. And it's because United didn't have that attacking threat in terms of the possession. When we were out of possession, sorry, that lack of intensity. The midfield there with Matic back in the team looked very, very static, Matic, today. Static, however you want to say it. Matic was static. Pogba, poor man. Fred was the best of the three midfielders and he gave away the penalty there. And don't try and even tell me that was a penalty. Lacazette going down. Shoulder contact? I don't know what it was. John Moss, he got it wrong. But Aubameyang didn't miss. And Arsenal made it 2-0. And at that point, the game was dead. And it's weird because Arsenal then used the tactics against us that we use so clinically against them in the FA Cup this season. Sat deep, broke with pace. And Arsenal were threatening. Arsenal threatened all game. But their defence isn't good. And Manchester United, every time we broke through, we got a decent chance. Leno made a few good saves from Lukaku, but I'm just so disappointed at how poor United were in front of goal today. To give Arsenal a clean sheet there, to give Arsenal a 2-0 win there, is extremely flattering. Now, there may be Arsenal fans who come in here and they think I'm chatting shit, but I'm not. United did not play that poor today to lose 2-0. We had the better overall chances. The finishing just wasn't there. And Arsenal got what I would say is a fortunate goal in Xhaka because De Gea doesn't make those mistakes in 99.9% .9 of games. But he did it today. And that was a soft penalty. And I've, if you're looking at Solskjaer and United, this, we, no, no one's going to be overreacting and say, oh, fucking hell, the wheel's coming off now. Is Solskjaer losing another couple games in a row? This and that. No, Solskjaer, it's his first loss in 17 games. He's setting away, a consecutive away wins record as manager. He got the most points ever as a Premier League manager in his first 10 games in charge. Solskjaer is going to be our manager next season. But this drop was always going to happen. A lot, a lot of people felt it was going to happen after the PSG game at home when we lost and we were humbled. But we didn't. We rallied and we responded against Chelsea. Instead, the lull has come after the high of PSG. One of our best European nights ever. And the spark wasn't there in the team. That was clear from the first minute. Because against Arsenal in the FA Cup, well, we certainly missed Lingard and Herrera today, for example. You know, if you take Matic out of that team and it was Herrera there instead, we would have been so much more busy in midfield. Maybe someone would have pressed Xhaka so he didn't get such an easy shot away when he made it 1-0. But that's it. The run's done. Solskjaer's experienced defeat in the Premier League. He's already experienced defeat in the Champions League. But today, I don't think that should have ended 2-0. Lukaku should have buried his chances there. A man who scored six goals in his last three games missed that opportunity at the start when he hit the bar. Fred hit the post as well. It was unfortunate. It was a game of tight margins in that respect. I felt United had the better opportunities, but the finishing wasn't there. Clearly, there was a hangover from Paris. That affected certainly Victor Lindelof, certainly well, Pop, not a hangover for Popper, but he came back in and was just non-existent. Same as Matic, non-existent. Maybe McTominay could have played better. But overall, I'm disappointed 
we sh that shouldn't have been 2-0. It really, really shouldn't have been 2-0. And it was our own fault that it ended 2-0. We should have finished our chances, and we didn't. And fair play to Arsenal, they did take theirs when they had them. But let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. Is there any sort of mad reaction that we need to have after that? Solskjaer tasting defeat in the Premier League for the first time. Or do we just say, look, we've lost. Let's move on. We've got Wolves now in the FA Cup quarterfinal coming up. And United between now and the end of the season, the goal is still to get into that top four in the Premier League. We're absolutely getting into that top four. Spurs losing again this weekend. Chelsea dropping points. It would have been a perfect time to beat Arsenal and get points on all of them. Instead, we gave Arsenal the boost this weekend. They've had a fantastic weekend in terms of results. But I'm confident that United will get in this top four. I was confident today. My confidence was misplaced. I overestimated how good United would be after the PSG game. We had a dip. But let's move on. Wolves next. As I said, let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. And if you're new to United People's TV, come on, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, though, take it easy.